Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. New and updated mods have been released on the mod up for Farm Sim 22. In total, today we have 21 mods for all platforms, 13 new and 7 updates, and PC Mac players have one update. I think it's funny, we've got less mods overall than we did new ones for all platforms on Friday. Goodness. In today's video, I'll show you all the new ones plus the customization, and we'll go over all the mods that got updated. Starting off today with new ones for all platforms, we have a new map, American Farmlands. This is a big sandbox style map, so you guys can create your own fields and create your own farms. Huge, big, flat, and it's got just about everything else you need through here. Uh, American Midwest field, working AI routes, which is nice. Starting farm with one field near of new farmer mode. Well, say near new farmer. Uh, right here. It's in new farmer that's my fault you've also got bell sale points train sale points animal dealer vehicle shop small to large farmland sizes which are found right here of course we have big ones right here about one million dollars or smaller ones less than a hundred grand uh, they are also symmetrical for the most part so you buy one set and you are good to go uh one other thing that i really like about this you could create four massive fields and that's kind of about it <laughs> You could also create your own areas in between. Uh, this gives you a nice basis if you guys want to more or less create your own map, but you don't have Giants Editor. Well, here, you don't need Giants Editor. Just download American Farmland. You'll be just fine. There is a custom animal food setup for sheep, cows, and chickens. You've got also additional paintable textures, additional paintable foliage, paintable fields as well. We can do that. Midwest U.S. seasonal weather integration, custom crop prices, and soil map for precision farming you get everything more or less that you need to go and right here check it out so let's go pda just one more little quick check so we own farmland 31 which is field number one however that's going to be your only field number uh if i load up easy development controls real quick and we go in here and set fields we have one or all so just the one uh this is not something that's going to be very easy to cheat if you know what i mean cough cough me more more or less uh just to be honest me <laughs> let's check out new farmer you got your john here 47 55 you also have 78 10 we have the old doyce far top liner combine harvester pickup 1986 belger trailer header for your combine harvester we got a plow cultivator cedar header trailer weights and we got a couple build systems as well because we have a silo now i also mentioned that you can paint fields yes all right so this is this is pretty cool so we're gonna go in here we're gonna go to painting you say create field cultivated and create field plowed so if i come through here and i just uh go through and and do this kind of thing right here it quite literally creates a field right there which is pretty sweet. And you could also do create field cultivated. Now you can see here, one thing it is doing is it's not doing it around where the grass is. You're still going to have to come through and plow that up, et cetera, et cetera. But pretty darn cool. You don't have to plow it up. Just do, do, do. And it's field. Ta -da! Does it recognize it as a field? Yes, it does. Next up, we do have a second new map for you guys today. Hills of Tuscany from Johnny X Pro. One heads up real quick. There are some mo or mods that you need to have installed that I did not. So it forced me to download them. You guys know how I, how I love that so, so much. I'll let you guys know which ones they are here in just a second. Nonetheless, they say every village or a hill has a village and every village has a story and every story has a secret to tell of an experience. This has got 102 different fields, mostly hilly of different forms and dimensions. Vineyards of red and white grapes, so that is nice. It tits and productions of olive groves and trees with an umbrella machine harvesting, a.k.a. Uh, well, they took a mod that was already on Mod Hub and used it on the map. Nonetheless, I do think that this was a map that we had in a previous Farming Simulator game. I know the name for some reason, and I have not been paying attention to Johnny X Pro um, for Farm Sim News. So it's got to be something that we knew about ahead of time. Nonetheless, regardless, here's your PDA. It is very busy. It's a full 1X map, so 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. Man, it's got a bunch of stuff on here. <laughs> nothing, nothing is squared off. I think that might be about as good as it gets. Maybe a couple of these right here. So if you like fun, interesting, enjoyable maps that give you a bit of a challenge, a visual challenge even, this may be the one for you. As far as your prices go, they're about what you would expect. 340000 280 187 uh, 389 You can buy the uh, water as well if you want to for $455,000. And there are some areas that you can't buy, like the BGA down here, for example. Can't buy that, so you will have to go through and buy it 
as a placeable, not as the area itself. Nonetheless, we've all got all kinds of stuff on here as well. Got some production chains, plenty of cell points. I mean, you can see the blue dots. There's a lot going on. Speaking of blue dots, let's go in here to owned items. So we have a Fenn Favorite 515. We do have a Massey Ferguson 3670 and a Voucher Valman. Moving on, we have the Droids Far Top Liner. <laughs> Get used to that one. Unayaga ETV, the small one right there. Lizard Pickup Truck, the older one. We do have a Rod Rudolph Trailer Header for your Combine Harvester. We do have the Nosh Speed Max. So you got a mulcher on here. Plow. Disc Harrow, Power Harrow, Cedar, which hooks up to the Power Harrow. We got a Fertilizer Spreader, Round Baler. We have a Round Baler Collector, Front Loader, Header Trailer, and we've got all this stuff right here as well. The only thing I don't see are tools for the Front Loader. So maybe they're saying, eh, well, you could buy your own. So just a quick heads up, you are going to have to download some stuff for this map if you want. Um, most of the time, I don't keep things downloaded as far as placeables, that type of thing. So... These are the things, at least that I, had to download. Next up, we do have a new tractor for you, the T-30, the Lizard T-30. And if this looks familiar to you guys, well, I thought it did too. I thought we already had it. But no, we have the T-25, which has 30 horsepower. But this new one has 32. Yeah, <laughs> you can do it with a manual or automatic. We also have 35 horsepower on here if you need that. Will Brands bring us Lizard High, Lizard High 2. And then that's about it through there. So we have wheel setups as well, whatever you need, if it's standard or wide. We have a couple different front weight configurations or nothing at all if you prefer that look. Wheel weights, those are separate, which is very nice. Please, 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 more of that. I love the separate weights. Front fenders, we also have metal or plastic. Back window. We got a little bitty window on the very back right there. Look at that. All right, that's pretty cool. I like that. Working lights. You can throw some extras on there. Mud flaps. We got shorts, longs, mega or none. Covers. Got a couple different engine covers for you guys up there. Attachments. These are going to be back on the back again. A couple different setups through there. Actually, that's a similar one that I think I had on the tractor when I was growing up. Moving on. Cabin. Nada. We got mirrors uh, options or nada. So mirrors and cabins are in the same option category. Doesn't look bad with the cabin on there, though, does it? Hood and front lights. We've got a couple different versions of that, or you could go completely stripped down. Check that out. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Moving on, we have engine covers. Wow, okay. Let's go back to red with that. Uh, fenders. <laughs> a lot of red going on there. Uh, let's see. We have the grill dummy color. I believe that's going to be on the very, very front. We don't have that installed. And we have a wheel weight color as well. Plus a wheel weight color two. Ah, okay. Got a little, little bits on the front. And lastly, rim colors. All right, not too bad there. Not too bad at all. One of the trucks from Farming Simulator 19's made its return. It is Bandirante Brazil. 200 horsepower, manual transmission, 63 liters of fuel, 49 miles an hour. At least two tons, if that matters. We do have a couple different body works on the back. We will take a look at those. We've got a Continental tire option, a Lizard tire option, Michelin, and back in again. Continental's got nothing. However, Lizard gives us a couple different things here, and Michelin is nothing as well. Sticker design, we've got a couple different designs there. So one, two, and three, blue, red, or nada. I like the nada. We'll go with that. Attachments, we've got a trailer hitch on the very back, or nothing. Definitely want a trailer hitch. This is a truck. And then we've got color options. So main color, I'm just going to go with a Challenger yellow. Color two, we actually have some different colors here. That's going to be our bumpers and design three. Now, what do we get here? Ooh, for the top. Ooh, let's go with black because, you know, black roof definitely makes sense. Then we have a wooden body. Now, this doesn't appear to hold anything. It just kind of is what it is. And it is... A wooden body. There you go. You can change up your main color and a couple design colors on there as well to match up. And then we have an original bodywork. Again, nothing crazy here. We have one color option, and that's it. One Mondo we've been waiting a little while for is the American Flatbed Pack from Gaber Designs. Well, as you can tell, it is here. Oh, man. So we have two trailers with this. Plus, we got a dolly as well. Trailers are basically identical, just one shorter than the other one. And then the dolly... Well, it just matches. It matches perfectly. So let's take a look at the larger version. So we have American flatbed. Then we can do log bunks. Then we can do lumber setup. So you can put your logs on top of these and they could rest on top. Then we have uh, the American flatbed again. Let's uh, let's just stick with that uh, the American flatbed setup. Wheels, we have a standard set. We've also got a spread axle, triaxle, or standard again, rack. So 
you can tell we've got Oh, okay, there it is. I was about to say, I don't see anything. Forestry rack, a headache rack, or nada. And then a rear hitch. If you guys want to use that dolly, put a couple of these together. You're going to need that back attachment. Main colors, well, we've got a couple of 82 Studios colors in here, which means nitro blue flatbed color. Let's go with Tiffany blue aged, which everybody knows. Oh, flatbed rack. Hang on a minute. Where is that at? Uh, Lumber setup, flatbed rack. Maybe on the back of the rack. There we go. And then we've got log bunks color. If you install the log bunks, uh, anybody keeping up with me right now? There you go. So those are all your options there. And then we have a couple different wheel options here for your dolly. Then we have the same color options. boop a doop a doop and boop a doop a doop Love it. Yeah. And here I thought tapas was a Spanish cuisine. Nope. It is a cultivator, a front cultivator. In fact, the Limca Tapas 140. Bad jokes, but good mods over here. That's what I'm all about. 500 kilogram weight, 100 horsepower, three meters spread at nine miles an hour. Uh, you have a couple different configurations of Avant or Avant or Avant. And then we got a couple other ones here as well. So there you go. Go with whatever, whatever you feel like. I'm not sure what the difference in game would be between these, but... Uh, I'm sure it'll work exactly the same. Signal plates, well, we've got lights or nada. We also have a couple different sets here as well, if you need those. And then, oh, this can also be pulled behind. Oh, oh well, that's why the top, or the, uh, the Avant stuff is there. Okay, good to know. And then we got to work it with three meter and four meter. So behind and front, whatever you're looking for. How's about a modder that I have not heard anything from in a long time, not even close, Black Eyes Official modding they have released their sippy m mini for us cl175 this well it it, it it's a stump grinders what it is uh field creation inactive or active that is no longer going to be something you can select it's going to be actually a customization option 1.8 meters seven miles an hour this is for skid steer loaders so load this up on your kubota skid steer or maybe you want to throw it up on something else go for it next we have the vetterstad rapid a800 special not sure what makes this special, so let's find out together. 3,100 liters, that is seed only. 77 tons, 77.7 7 tons, can you imagine? 240 horsepower, 8 meters at 11 miles an hour. Pretty standard stuff, it is a direct drill. Pipe front tank. So we have pipe or standard track eraser. So that is interesting, we've got those. We have working lights, extra or standard packer wheels. We've got some different ones at the front through there. Beacon options. Those are going to be, I would assume, on the back. I don't actually see them on the front anywhere. Yeah, right there. There it is. I like that. Uh, wing wheels. So we've got extra wheels on the wings. The attachments. Trailer attachment. Are you kidding me? Right there it is. Trailer attacher. And then you got your license plate. So what makes this thing special? <laughs> It's actually got customization options that are useful. I love it. Next, we have Lancy Voice Cow Husbandry Pack. Now, this is something pretty darn cool. You can actually muck these out. Now, one thing about it, just a heads up, it's not going to be going through the entire pasture and picking up all the manure. It's just going to be inside here. However, you've got it. We also have lighting up above, <laughs> evidently, too. I don't even see the lights, but there you go. So you go in there and get what you need. As far as your cattle go, 200 head of cattle and of course everything updates it is lancy or opens it is lancy boy so we can get in here take a look around move around around towards the front oh goodness i can't jump over that uh guess we have to go around around towards the front we've got everywhere where you could feed them throw in the straw go ahead and do all of your food stuff there as well milk is going to be there slurry is there as we talked about Manure will be inside, and then we have a full big open pasture uh, where you've also got a dump trigger out here as well. Now, if you don't want your pasture, you could do the exact same setup here. This holds less, 125 cattle as opposed to 200, but it is 50 grand cheaper, and you get all the, basically the same stuff, just less cattle. That's about it. <laughs> hey, from Lancy Boy. Now, the one thing I do want to know, can we change these colors any? Hmm... Do, 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 do. No, we cannot. Also, these only uh, go around 180 degrees. No, oh, I guess they snap. Next, we have a pair of sheds, but for some reason, I can't figure out what the difference is between both of these. Maybe you can help me figure out which one's different from each other because I have no idea. Nonetheless, this is the VDI sheds. These can be used to store machinery or grains, whatever you need to. They're from Vertex Design, so of course they are going to be absolutely epic when it comes to the design and the details, everything. 
is going to be immaculate. However, I can't figure out what the difference is between the two. So maybe you can? Let me know in the comments. Here's a pretty cool one. This is, seems to be an older European type style, maybe even a newer European style. Definitely not seeing anything like this in the United States. This is this, the Garage for Machines. I love that this L-shaped kind of section here on the far right. Then we also have an open set here. We do have a ladder, which I think we could climb, but I'm not sure if there's anything up there. And not enough space really to make it worth anything. And then we have a smaller little area right here as well. It is quite literally a garage for your machines. And I love it. The next new one for all platforms, actually the next to last new one for all platforms today, uh... I ran out of room almost. Even the silos. <laughs> Even the silo doesn't boom it because I'm so stupidly far away. This is the Pack of Five Rustic Machine Shed. So uh, it is all the same shed, but they all have something different about them. And they're all also in different places. So let's just take a look at where they are first. So obviously, you're just going to find a oh, shed right here, just the shed. That's it. And it costs you $80,000. Next, we have in silos right here, $285,000, but it holds 50 million liters. So that's pretty darn cool. Uh, it is a, a silo. Then we have a container. We have another one. We have this one with diesel storage. So we have a storage spot for diesel, actually, which is kind of cool. And then in tools, we have two more. We have one with a diesel fuel pump, and then we have one with a workshop. So they're all the same. They just have something a little bit different. So here's your diesel storage. Uh, diesel storage, I believe, is a, a base game thing? Mod? Something like that? So really don't need a shed for that. Not that I know of. Silo. It's cool to have a silo around the shed that holds 50 million liters, but we have smaller ones that hold 50 billion. Uh, you know, it's cool stuff. <laughs> it's it's massive. I guess we can go inside now if you guys want to see. Goodness gracious. All right, let's drop down. Let's slow it down. I uh, really should stay really, 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 really big open building. A couple doors here, a couple doors there. We've got some doors right over here. Let's go and open those up. Uh, let's see. We've got some lights. I do like that. That's awesome. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, we've got this, which opens up. Oh, opens up the top. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We've got some nice animations. So, again, you've got all this stuff. I don't think it needs all the extra little bits and bobs. I don't think it needs a workshop. I don't think it needs diesel storage or diesel pump or a silo. These are all mods that people can use their own. But, hey, if you need that, if you need it, you got it. And your last new one for all platforms, a medium farmhouse, a residential house with a sleeping function. So, there you go. What they didn't tell you. So you can also change your clothes while you're here. Doesn't look like we're able to get in. There's no doors and all the all the windows just kind of look dead inside. <laughs> Nonetheless, there you go. Here's another house. Making our way over to mod updates for all platforms. We have the Case H Axle Flow Series version 1.2. Change lights color. Change the 2100 series color. Added US versions for the 1400 and 1600 series. It fixed the long pipe animation on the 1400 series. Next, an update to the Kloss Combio Flex Pack version 1.3. Added new configuration for the laser plot or pilot rather improved Convio Flex 1380. Added decals and adjusted materials. Materials. Next, the Crusetto SPL Pack version 2 added new connection hoses and added new configurations. Next, a big update to the 30 foot flatbed auto loading trailer pack. This is version 1.001. They've added support for the FS22 Universal Auto Load mod that's on PCs only right now. Added real lights to the strobe lights so they will reflect off the surroundings and added game pad button controls to adjust the dividing floor of the livestock trailer configuration along with the gooseneck and pin hitch heights. Of course, they say don't upload this to anything. If you downloaded this from another site other than the Mod Hub, uh, it was not posted there by them. And any comment, suggestion, reports, email to MacTrucker921 at gmail.com. Next up, another pretty easy update to the Flegal Dolly EA version 101. They've adjusted driving characteristics and minor adjustments. Hey, in HR Force, they got a new mod that's been submitted for testing. We'll talk about it in Farm Sim News tomorrow. Next update, the Flegal Combi Bell Fork version 1.001 tower configuration added. 
added. And your last mod update for all platforms, the Rally Track Pack version 1.1 added new object, the Ramp XX and Ramp XXX and the pylon as well as the tire. Since this Rally Track got updated, we have to take a look at a few of these new pieces because that's awesome. So, of course, we have our concrete block. We have our sign postage going left and right. Then we have the Ramp Small. So we have that. And then we have the Ramp Medium. And we have the Ramp large but we now have ramp xx and xx i don't even know if i'm allowed to say that part on <laughs> on youtube and then of course we've got a couple cones which is pretty sweet and tire uh these are pretty high up there and i think you're gonna get plenty of air if you need it. Yay! And your last mod today is an update for PC Mac players of the Corsetto SPL Pack Additional Features version 2 align with the crossplay version. Well guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it if you did. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of videos here on the channel, uh, I think we'll have plenty more. We just hit 250,000 subscribers. Absolutely awesome you guys rock and roll man thank you very much today's a very special day although i wasn't planning on hitting it this early i'm doing a special celebration stream next saturday on march 11th 2023 to celebrate five years on youtube and a quarter million subscribers so stay tuned for that otherwise just hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace